Does the CIA have a secret UFO crash retrieval program? Well, that is the bold allegation made in this new article. So let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, this is a bombshell article from the Daily Mail by Josh Boswell, Chris Sharp, and Matt Ford. And uh, yeah, these three guys. And it's just a, a really, a, this could be a game changer, guys. This could be a game changer. So let's just go through it. Why don't we go to the immersive reader without all the ads? Exclusive CAA's secret office has conducted UFO retrieval missions on at least nine crash sites around the world. Uh, a secretive CIA office has been coordinating the retrieval of crashed UFOs around the world for decades, multiple sources told the DailyMail.com. One source said that at least nine apparent non-human craft have been recovered by the U.S. government, some wrecked from a crash and two completely intact. And of course, I'm, I'd be shocked if it was only nine, but whatever. Uh, three sources briefed on those alleged top-secret operations told Daily Mail that the Office of Global Access, OGA, a wing of the CIA's uh, Science and Technology Directorate, has played a central role since 2003 in orchestrating the collection of what could be alien spacecraft. Uh, the three sources who spoke on condition of anonymity uh, to avoid reprisals, have all been briefed by individuals involved in those alleged uh, retrieval missions. Though these shocking claims sound like they come from a science fiction novel, they are part of a growing body of evidence suggesting the U.S. government could indeed be hiding advanced vehicles that were not made by humans. Whoa, guys, whoa. Former top intelligence officer David Grush told Congress as much in an explosive public hearing. The same month, Senator uh, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer sponsored an extraordinary bill to allow disclosure of recovered technologies of unknown origin and biological evidence of non-human intelligence, which is now passed in the Senate. Uh, that may be as far as it gets, sadly, but we'll see. We'll see. It could still pass in some crippled form. Uh, it may accomplish some good yet. Uh, sources who spoke to the Daily Mail shed light on how the CIA has allegedly coordinated the secret recovery and storage of these alleged crashed or landed UFOs. There's at least nine vehicles. There were uh, different circumstances for different ones. One source uh, briefed by UFO program insiders told the Daily Mail. And so he's briefed by UFO program insiders. So, you know, you have to wonder if there's, you know, disinformation being floated out there or, or maybe uh, information uh, designed to soften the blow, right? Some sort of planned or form, you know, some sort of uh, plan of soft disclosure or slow disclosure. I don't know. That's where my mind goes. That's where my mind goes. But let me know what you think. Uh, it has to do with the physical condition they're in. If it crashes, there's a lot of damage done. Others, two of them, are completely intact. Um, is he talking about maybe the ones that were, you know, that we, we believe that there's at least one that was found in a, an archaeological site? Uh, you know, uh, Lou Elizondo gave the example of finding a 747 in King Tut's tomb. Um, you know, he couldn't say it directly, but he was clearly giving an analogy uh, indicating that a UFO had been found uh, apparently intact in some sort of archaeological site. So, I, you know, we don't know if it was just one or more. more. Um, but, yeah, so clear, clear evidence in my mind that the ancient peoples were uh, dealing with the beings. Uh, but it could have just been left there after. Maybe the beings wanted us to find it. Who knows? Uh, the source said the CIA had a system in place that can discern UFOs while they're still cloaked, and that if the non-human craft land, crash, or are brought down to Earth, I guess I mean just you down. Special military units are sent to salvage the wreckage. Another source with knowledge of the OGA's role said that they specialize in allowing the U.S. military to secretly access areas around the world where they would uh, usually be denied. Usually be denied. Uh, for example, behind enemy lines. They are basically a facilitator for people to get in and out of countries, the source said. They are very clever at being able to get anywhere in the world they want to be. Uh, multiple sources briefed on the OGA's activity 
uh, activities told DailyMail.com that most of its operations involve more conventional retrieval missions, such as stray nuclear weapons, downed satellites, or adversaries' technology. Yikes. So uh, they're saying there have been stray nuclear weapons uh, that they have retrieved. Now, that sounds dire. Uh, but they claim some missions coordinated by the OGA have involved retrieval of UFOs. The task at hand is simply to get it into custody and protect the secrecy of it, one source said. The actual physical retrieval is by the military, but it's not kept under military control because they have, they have to keep too many records, so they start moving it out fairly quickly into private hands. Documents published by the National Archives and Records Administration in December 2016 showed that the OGA was one of 56 offices in the CIA, with its chief and deputy making up two of a total 286 director-level officials in the spy agency. An unclassified organizational chart published by the CIA in October 2015 lists the OGA, OGA among nine offices in the science and technology wing of the agency. Late CIA expert Jeffrey uh, Rickelson, Rickelson wrote in a 2016 book on the agency that the OGA was established in 2003 and cited a CIA description that it integrate analysis, technology, and tradecraft to attack the most difficult targets and to provide worldwide collection capability. 255 word biography of former OGA director, director Doug Wolf, published by Aerospace Conference in 2017, says that he helped start the Office of Global Access. I love that, the Office of Global Access, just such a bland name, right? Uh, Wolf's bio cryptically adds that he was responsible for leading and managing strategic unwarned access programs that deliver intelligence from the most challenging denied areas and served as program manager with the responsibility for end-to-end -end system acquisition of an innovative new source and method for the IC, the intelligence community. Two sources told, told DailyMail.com that the OGA coordinates with special operations forces such as SEAL teams or Delta Force under the Pentagon's Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC, or nuclear weapons experts such as the Nuclear Armed Support Team to collect the crashed or landed craft. But another source, who has briefed members of Congress on alleged crash retrievals, said that Nest had not been involved in any of these operations. And Nest, of course, is the Nuclear Emergency Support Team. A, a spokesperson for the agency also denied involvement. Nest personnel encounter materials from unknown origins on a regular basis, a spo spokesperson said. In fact, one of Nest's missions is to help determine the origin of nuclear material uh, interdict interdicted outside a regulatory control or used in a nuclear device. Is that interdicted? Anyway. Uh, during its operations, Nest has never encountered any material related to UAP. Yeah, famous last words, right guys? And In a written statement, J a JSOC spokesperson told Daily Mail, we have nothing for you on this. Well, of course not. A former SEAL team member told Daily Mail that they had been on operations coordinated by the CIA to retrieve high-value stray enemy weapons and that they knew of colleagues who had been on similar operations where they recovered technology that appeared highly advanced, though, though, though not necessarily out of this world. Absolutely that happens, the ex-SEAL uh, said. Even ordnance or a weapon that we've never seen, we recover and bring it back. One source said that the Air Force Special Operations Command's 24th Special Tactics Squadron, based at Pope Army uh, Air Base in North Carolina, has been involved in securing areas for UFO crash retrievals. Sources said the CIA, um, the CIA office then often hands the wreckage or material over to private aerospace contractors for analysis. So maybe that's how Lockheed got some of the stuff, and you know, presumably Boeing and. Uh, maybe Battelle and some of the others. Uh, it goes to the, the private contractors where it is not subject, to, not subject to rigorous government audits and can be shielded with protections for trade secrets. The CIA is the portfolio manager or owner of the UAP crash retrieval operation. Interesting. So they are the portfolio manager, manager for UFOs. 
Uh, the Department of Energy National Labs are materials analysis contractors. Whenever recovered radioisotopes are involved, but not always just radioisotope materials. The aerospace defense industry are also contractors that uh, specifically do not handle any recovered radioisotopes, but they handle the other non-radioactive material and intact craft. Interesting. Uh, okay, so the aerospace defense industry, uh, they're... They're also contractors that specifically do not handle recovered isotopes, but they handle craft. Multiple sources said that many of the people involved in these programs may not even realize they are dealing with non-human craft due to the intense security and com compartmentalization of information in top secret programs. Uh, the rest of the article just kind of gives us a blow by blow of, you know, the David Grush story and what's going on with the Schumer Rounds Amendment. Uh, so I'm not going to go over that, but I will link to this article, of course, and you can read it at your leisure. But there you go. These uh, reporters have found out that the CIA has a secret crash retrieval program. Uh, the OGA, Office of Global Access. Isn't that juicy? Of course, you do have to watch out for, you know, disinformation and misinformation. Um, you know, we don't know their sources. We don't know where they're getting this. Uh, you know, I, I, again, I can't help but wonder if this is some sort of uh, some form of controlled disclosure, right? They're giving us a little bit. They're allowing these reporters to get this information from these insiders uh, to paint a certain picture of a nuts and bolts operation, a very limited nuts and bolts operation. Uh, not to say that the OGA isn't doing this stuff or, you know, that they, maybe they have only recovered nine craft since, what was it, you know, the early 2000s. Uh, so that's entirely possible, but of course they have retrieved, or somebody has retrieved, the control group has retrieved many craft uh, before then. Um, you know, did any of those craft come into the OGA? Are they now owned by the OGA? Or are they still with whoever retrieved them in the first place? We don't know. We don't know, but wow, what a gangbusters fascinating story guy guys we have a, a new agency involved in the ufo control group and of course it's in the cia so let me know what you think about all this craziness in the comments below and if you've enjoyed this article this video this article well this article in this video please give me a big thumbs up i sure would appreciate it smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos you don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. If you wanted to share this video on social media, that'd be super groovy. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, please consider buying a coffee mug or a t-shirt. See the merch store below or by becoming a channel member because channel members are rock stars. And I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos to check out on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. Sunny out.